Well, let's be clear about this. We're just a few short days away from one of the most important elections in the history of this country. And I really mean that. I'm asking you to take the opportunity to use your voice to tell these parties and the establishment they represent that they no longer represent the people of Dublin and Ireland. I feel that they've completely lost touch with the people they actually were elected to represent. And now is our chance to vote them out. To send a clear message that they have failed the people of this great city and great country. My journey in all this, by the way, didn't just start six weeks ago when I announced my candidacy. I guess you could say it started when I took the first call from a listener live on the radio. Since then, I've spoken to over a quarter of a million people on the radio. Hi, Niall. Hi, Niall. Hi, Niall. Hi, Niall. How are you doing, Niall? I'm more qualified than any of these politicians to understand people's problems and what the general... Hi, it's Niall Boyle here. And yes, as you can see, or see in the background, I'm on the grounds of Donnybrook. Tomorrow night, of course, there's a debate on prime time where you get to see the candidates who are running for the European elections. Um, I'm tipped, according to the Irish Independent, to take one of those seats. But let's be clear, they don't want to hear from me because I represent a large number of people in this country who are voiceless. And they don't want to give you that voice because that causes them problems. And it causes the politicians problems. It causes the establishment problems. The eight candidates that are there tomorrow night told you to vote yes in the referendum. They don't care about the word woman in the Constitution. And they certainly don't care about mothers. But you all said no. Most of them voted for hate speech laws. Even Sinn Féin, who claim they don't agree with them, even though they all voted for them. Most of them want the EU Migration Pact. Of course, the MEPs that will be there tomorrow night, the returning MEPs who want you to re-elect them, they all voted for the Migration Pact as well. But the big problem with that is, is that you have eight people who essentially all agree with each other. Eight people who say...